that's it, you've got a red dot. Right, so A-frame should look pretty similar. Yeah. You may have had the red handle before. So if you had a, a, a stabiliser, yeah. I'm just trying to spot a red angle from here and they're yeah. all black. Yeah. <laughs> right. So obviously it's very important, tow ball grease free, yeah. paint free. Yeah. Yeah. So you're happy with that and where? Yeah, that's the same as the old one. Yeah, no, no grease on the old one. That's it, exactly. You Breakaway the cable, yeah. that should look exactly the same. Yeah. 13 that's pin so. electrics, you got that on your car? Well, we've got an adapter. We've got an adapter, yeah. Handbrake, that's just yeah. nothing too difficult. No. This, obviously, maybe extra that, than you've yeah, had no before. Back, yeah. It's just a handle to help <laughs> So, that's uh, obviously to help uh, maneuver your jockey ball as well. Yeah. Right, inside the cast locker, you will see a bit of a difference unless you had a auto change or no dual no, control. No. Right, so at the moment, I've just got you connected to one of your gas. Yeah. You can connect two gas. If you want to, there is the other pigtail here, but I'm just. So you've got the other pigtail if you want to use now both running. If you use a lot of gas, which I assume you don't have in this size of gas, um, if you use a lot of gas, it, it may be an advantage using this with both connected. What that will do is your normal you start obviously using is this. Yeah. Once you're that's empty, it will automatically start draining if your other one. If that's yeah. Yeah, obviously connected yeah, and switched yeah, on. Yeah. yeah. I would probably won't bother with that, I think, because we, we, we so. hardly use the gas. So yeah. we'll so I'm assuming that as you've only got the small ones, I would have thought well, you're not a big use of gas. No, no, no. Right, so what we've got on, on this also is safety devices. So on here, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. I'll be easy to show you. We've got this gas release button here. So that's a burst. So if you had a burst hose, that would operate to shut the gas off. Oh, it would operate automatically. Yeah, so that's a, a safety device. Yeah. But when you turn it on, when you turn your gas on, it's on now. Press that button to release the gas up to here. Okay. Make sure that that is pointed in the direction of whichever one you're using. So you've got this arrow is pointing towards this at the moment. Okay, yeah. If it was operating that side, turn it across to that side. So turn it on, press the green button, make sure that's pointing towards the Yeah. Thing. Yeah, fine. We've got an indicator up on the top here. That's green. Yeah. Obviously green, that says you've got pressure. Yeah. If it's red, you haven't. Okay. So either you haven't turned it on or it's no emptied gas. it. Yeah. Or you haven't pressed this little button here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that brings the gas up to the regulator. What we've also got is a, a crash uh, sensor what, uh, button as well. So what's inside there is a little ball bearing. Yeah. If it's as it said, as it obviously says, yeah. it's a cra it's crash sensor. So if it senses, it will cut the gas supply off. Really? The, the, obviously, the safest idea is obviously make sure you turn the off. gas off when you're travelling. But that is a safety yeah. device there. Yeah. If you're not getting any gas inside, yeah, maybe that that may have operated. You may be driving to the site, gone over a road dump, and it's set it. And it might have set it off. All it is, that. you just get a pen. Yeah, it's just a reset button. Right? Push that in, yeah. hold it for about two or three seconds, it will reset it. Hold it. Okay. Yeah. So that's it. Obviously, if you're not getting any gas inside. Right. Okay. What you also see inside here, with the the special, obviously you come with a step anyway. Plastic step. You've got your winder handle and wheel nut spanner in there. Yeah. Cable. You see they come with, and with this, with the special, it all comes with a. Uh, a direct water supply pipe as well. Okay. If you want to go on, with, if you're on a uh, special service pitch, service pitch you can yeah. put it direct in instead of using acrylic. Lovely. Okay. Yeah. Also on here, if you had this on your previous one, ATC. No, we didn't have that. Have you heard of what ATC it is and does? Yeah, I have read it. I can't remember what it stands for, but I know yeah. what it basically is. So it's, it's a trailer control system. Yeah. Yeah. It detects the movement, as yeah. in snaking. Yeah. Obviously, it's there to hopefully correct that yeah. before it gets into the, the problem area. Yeah. As in going too far. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, all it does, it powers, powers up from the car. Right. It's coming through the electrics. Oh, right. Um, if, depending on what, have you got the two on the back? I never know, so exactly right. You've got the black and grey. Black and grey, yeah, yeah, that's fine. It only comes off the grey side. Okay. Okay, so if you've got, once you get a 13 pin from the car, that should be the full power there. If, when you start it up, when you plug it in, you'll hear it uh, test itself. Yeah. So you'll hear the brake system operate. Yeah. And then you'll see an indicator light in there. Green light. Obviously, you can't see anything at the moment. No. So but you'll see that when we connect to that. So when there's a green light? Green light, you know, solid right. green light, okay. Green flashing light, it just hasn't quite completed this test. Normally, pulling forward will uh, just uh, operate that. Okay. Red, solid red light or flashing red light, you may see. Yeah. That's an issue. You can all pull your electrics, yeah. see if it resets, and then put, put it back in again. again. Try it again. Or you've got a system got a problem, problem and yeah. you, someone's going to have to reset it for you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, you may still be able to tow with it. But obviously, it operates the brakes. Yeah. So, so if if it's moving, yeah. Before you move off, 
obviously the brakes haven't been applied, you can still it just use it as you would have right, done without yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So the system's not operating. Okay. If obviously um, yeah. it has operated the brakes, yeah. you're not going you're not anywhere going until else, someone right? resets it. Okay. There is a, a threaded bar underneath. A what bar? Sorry. A threaded bar, so oh, yeah, yeah. which connects the, the system to your brakes, yeah, yeah. which you can remove, and that releases the system. Right. But getting under there and messing around. Sounds dodgy. I don't, yeah. I don't so think it's, it's there as an option if you really need to get I moving. I wouldn't be messing about with brakes. If you're that desperate to get away. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. We're never in that much of a hurry. Yeah. Reset it. Yeah, no, that no, one reset it. No. No. It's, it's just a matter it's of either it. unplugging it Unplug from your car, putting it back in. If that will reset it, it's a matter of someone with a box coming to reset that. Okay. Or replace the system if, if the system is uh, faulty. Yeah. Okay. Right, coming out the side, the difference you will see there. That's, that's your boiler vent. So as you said, you don't use the grass that much, if, if at all. Um, on your previous van, you had the boiler, trimmer boiler, yeah. that had a cover you would take off yeah. if you want to use the boiler on gas. Okay. So that's the vent. There's no, there's no cover to take off. No, just leave it in. That's, okay. that's how it leave it. Okay. Water in. This should look pretty similar, I would expect, from yeah, that, that age van. Same, yeah. yeah, so the pipe that comes with it, no pump on the end of it, pumps on board. Okay. To release it, just pull on the trigger, yeah. releases it. Yeah. Clicks in. Yeah, good. We've fitted your battery. Okay. Okay, and then also you've got your, your power in, so 240 is in there. Yeah. You've also got, you can see that there, external aerial point. Yeah, yeah. So you can connect it. If, yeah. if you're on site, you've got a bollard that you can connect your an aerial yeah. to, you can also do that. Yeah. Okay. That's the same as the Yeah, so that should be. Yeah, not not. No. Yeah. Okay, the bridge vents are down this side, probably maybe on the opposite side than what we're um, used to. Is, it's probably better the side this side because a lot of them have them all the inside, yeah, yeah, which is then it gets warm and then yeah. obviously makes uh, life a bit more difficult yeah. for the fridge to work. Yeah, Waste and water outlet should be exactly the same. It is. Toilet again. Right. Did you yeah. have the, the wheeled? Uh, yeah, that's exactly yeah. the same. Yeah. yeah, And you've also got the drain down for your oh, first tank, nice. which oh. is on the, on the little uh, plastic ledge on oh, the other side. I don't know if one of them on the old one. Or if you did, I never even saw it. You never it. noticed <laughs> it. Obviously, make sure you are draining it down for winter. Yeah, of course. Um, obviously, you can flush it. Or using yeah. a flush button and flush it out of that tank, but you can just drain the last little bit via that little pipe. Right. right. Okay. okay. Yeah. The advantages, obviously, of using a flush system is you've taken the water out of the pump as well. So any right. water that's held yeah. in that pump, if you flush it and there's nothing coming out, then obviously yeah, you've yeah. got a good chance of no water left in it. Right. Okay. 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 Yeah. James, James has fitted you a number plate for you. Hopefully, that's the correct one. Looking at your back here. Yeah. <laughs> it's not somebody else's. No. Um, and if you can see at the back, we've got bike rack fixed. Oh, so right. ready to receive a bike rack if you decide you want to oh, carry a bike. You want to carry a bike? You're obviously, the things you've got to be aware of, if you're putting weight at the back of the van, yeah, that the stability yeah. obviously can be an issue, so make sure you balance it out with weight at the front if you're then going to put yeah. weight at the back. At the moment, I've got a bracket. Oh, you've got a bracket. It's probably better on there. Yeah, yeah. but it's not, I haven't said that. We've been in a bike for 15 years. Oh, right, right, so you're, you're not really thinking about a bike. Obviously, you won't, maybe. Not really. <laughs> tandem. <laughs> right, coming down this side, obviously you've got your plate by the door. Yep. One of the important uh, what measurements. What was the mile? That was at 1272. That's just out of curiosity. What was that compared to the old one? I mean, I know it's, I think I was towing it about, nine, you know, they say 85% recommended, yeah. but I was towing it about 93, which is neither here nor there. Yeah, really, no, as long, as long as you're below 100%. Yeah. Um, even though, it, obviously, stability, obviously, the higher you get, obviously, the stability can obviously be. So it's about 69 kilograms heavier than the other I'm just thinking, yeah. You know, thinking ahead. Yeah, that's it, obviously. Be aware, be aware of what yeah, you're loading of course, into yeah. van yeah. and how so much weight you can put into these things. Yeah. yeah. Okay, the important um, figure down here, which is in the smaller writing, is your wheel nuts um, oh, yeah. torque setting. Yeah. Okay, just mention steel, obviously you've got alloy, which yeah. is 130 Newton meters, make sure you are checking them regularly. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I will check them before you leave. Yeah. Okay, right. but it, it is very important that, obviously tyre pressure there as well. Yeah. So obviously that's another one which is important. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Going down this side of the van, one you may slightly different than what you may have had previously is this little locker here. What you've got, what you've got in there is a TV bracket, <laughs> yeah. and also you obviously get your power. So you've got the 12 volt, your TV or 240 volt. Obviously the brackets there. You can take the TV and put it inside, or take it outside and put it in your own in if you want to. Yeah, we won't be bothering with that one. No. And then also obviously so access under good. there. What you've also got under there is your wheel lock, which yeah. this this one comes with, which is very good. Make sure you do register that, because yeah. if you don't register it and you lose the keys, it's going to cost you a lot of money to get that lock off. Okay, yeah. then 
alarm box which is sitting there that you may have had an alarm on your last one uh, possible. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so that's probably it's very straightforward. Yes, sure, that's it's, just, I'm going to say it's pretty straightforward. Sorry, just run through that thing again. I've got the, uh, the lock, the wheel lock, the wheel lock. Yeah, just run through that wheel lock. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, inside it, it's got a, a card, yeah. a registered card. Yeah. Okay, all you need to do is go on the website and it, it'll say to register your wheel lock. Oh, yeah. And then okay. it will, it will re obviously, that'll be a record of you're the owner of that particular lock. Okay. And if you have any trouble, yeah. or you've lost the keys, yeah. you can call them and then... Got you. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. That, that's in the bag there. Yeah. Have you had an alcohol wheel lock before? No. They're, they are very, very good. They are a bit, a bit fiddly to get on, Yeah. Okay. but I'll once they're on, they're they are good. as solid as you can imagine. An uh, insurance company will definitely like that. Yeah. He, he, he did ask when we, yeah. when we found them the other day. Yeah, they yeah. will definitely like that. Yeah. So what you've got on, on the axle, which is actually attached to the axle, you can see from there, there's this little blank cap here. Yeah. That yellow, yellow blank cap. That's a receiver for that wheel lock. Oh, okay. Okay, so it needs to be in the big hole. Yeah. It needs to be lined up with that, which is more or less perfect. That's easy. Quite right. pure, pure, pure <laughs> yeah. chance and look. So dust cap out, and it, it, all it is is just a bolt with threads into that. It has to be pretty close to centre yeah. to get your lock on. Okay. Okay. So, so, just, so, just, so unscrew, all, oh, yeah, that just unscrews out. Yeah, okay. And then just make sure you put that in when you're travelling because you yeah. don't want any dirt crap getting in there, yeah. affecting the threads when you're trying of to course, uh, yeah, yeah. tidy it up. But make sure you put that on and store it on site. Yeah. And then the insurance company will love you. Yeah. Well, they were quite happy to hear. About that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's, that's as good as anything of keeping these vehicles secure. Yeah. The, the chances of getting that off without cutting the whole van up. So just to get that wheel lock off. So we do really, I've got, I mean, I've got two wheel, wheel locks, is that a hitch lock? I could probably do away with that now. We'll, we'll, also, I, I definitely keep the hitch lock. Yeah. Definitely keep the hitch lock. Yeah, they're not there. But definitely, not there. That, that wheel lock is brilliant. Yeah, okay. Is that on both wheels? <coughs> no, you only, you, only need, you only need it on one. Okay. Right, okay. okay. Keys, we talked about the alarm. Just keep the door shut a bit longer, just keep it warm. Mm -hmm. Right, so keys, one and a spare. We've got the, the posh foldy one. Yeah. So one and a spare, one key does all. Yeah, same as the other one. Yeah, same, probably same as the other one. Okay. Alarm fob, so you've got one and a spare again. Torch is the top button. Yeah. Alarm set is the second button. So press it, one beep on. Yeah. What you may see is the side markers flashing up. Yeah. One beep on, that sets your alarm. Yeah. Okay, it's got a PAR sensor, so a movement sensor if someone's walking in and out oh, of it. Right, yeah. Also a tilt sensor. Oh, so okay. if someone's winding it up to get it onto their vehicle, as long as your alarm set, it will set that up. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah, so press it, press it once again, two beeps off. Two beeps off, one beep off. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Also, third button down, only light. You can switch that only light on four different ways if you want to. There's that, yeah. there's one on the panel, normally there's a switch by the door, yeah. and also on the app, there's a switch on there. So there's four ways of switching one light on and off. <laughs> Not sure why you need that. Many. Kill <laughs> yeah, exactly, but the, that's what we've got with it. Yeah. Okay, and the, the bottom one is a program button, so you can actually uh, program the alarm for different settings or different oh, nice. sensitivities. Okay. okay. Right. Right, if you'd like to go inside. In the, hopefully a bit warmer in there than it is 